to them. Prophesy and say unto them. Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds. Unto the, thus saith the Lord the God. The Lord God unto the shepherds. To the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. That feed themselves. Woe to the shepherds of Israel that are selfish. That's right. That's right. Woe be to the shepherds. Where do you feed yourself? Oh, yes. Your God is your belly. That's right. You don't care. Don't care. About the people. That's right. If you know you care about the people, you don't have to say within yourself, he ain't talking about me. Would I? See, when you got to have that kind of conversation within, <laughs> you're guilty. Yeah. You see, I can talk about, <clears throat> just say if Elder Martin preached about stealing all day, <laughs> thou shalt not steal. And the brothers and sisters start grumbling, oh, you ain't talking about me. Well, if you know you're not a thief, what you grumbling for? That's right. When you hear him talk, you will say, hey, man. <laughs> if there's any conviction mm -hmm. whatsoever, Amen. then you must evaluate, re-evaluate your treatment of God's souls. That's right. If you want to keep the sword and the wrath of God off your head. Off your head. Amen. Reevaluate your treatment of God's souls. That's Do right. you know before I start pastoring, one of the things when God appeared unto me was He gave me a lesson mm. of treating His souls, mm. how to treat them, what pace to run, right. what not to do what to do and he instilled in me let this always be your guide amen when this is your guide you will do it right yes you will but when this is your guide yeah your heart your heart you will do it wrong that's right because the heart is the most deceitful thing. Oh, yes. And you'll react out of emotion and feeling, but if you react out of scripture, you react out of righteousness. That's right. And the perfect will of God, even when others criticize you, you don't pay your critics no mind. Yes. Are you listening? Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds. Hear my world? Amen. You men that claim you are messengers of God. You have souls you in your mosque and your synagogue and your church. Do God have a complaint mm -hmm. against you? Amen. See, I'd rather for you to have a complaint. Yes. Than God to have one. That's right. If God have one, that complaint is serious. Oh, yes. That complaint can be life-threatening. Yeah. That complaint can determine how long I stay on this earth. That's right. And that complaint can determine when I'm leaving oh, yes. this earth. That's right. Are you listening? Son of man, prophesy against. Prophesy. Against the shepherds of Israel. Against. See, prophecy don't always come where you feel like it's in your favor. That's true. Prophecy come in two categories. Warning, Warning. and exhortation. That's right. Comfort. That's right. So God does both, both. when he sends messengers to the people. That's right. Listen. 
Pro Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Yes. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord the God unto the shepherds. Unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Yes. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Viewers, are you being fleeced? <laughs> That's right. In your church? In your church. Amen. Preachers, are you stealing yeah. church money? That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. When it comes to the work of the Lord and money is given for the work of the Lord, mm -hmm. that's the Lord's money. That's right. Can't steal it. Can't fleece the people. That's right. You preachers going to stand before God for years of robbing. Oh, yes. Pastor Janus, ain't nobody can rob from God. Malachi. Give me chapter, Malachi. Chapter 3 and verse 8. You know, folks just use this scripture just for tithing. The Bible ain't just talking about tithing here. I, that's right. Listen at the Bible. Malachi chapter 3 and at verse 8. Says what? Will a man rob God? A question is asked first. Amen. Will a man rob God? Steal from God? Yet ye have robbed him. He said you've done it already. But ye say. Now, mm -hmm. ye say. Wherein have we robbed thee? Oh, how we do it. Now watch what God tell you. In tithes. You've done it in tithing. And offerings. And you've done it and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse. Oh. Amen. Amen. Oh, have mercy. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. Whenever the work of the Lord is being built mm -hmm. and established, Nobody should take the church's money mm -hmm. and use it at will. That's right. And just freelance with God's money. That's right. Amen. If the Lord's money is needed to be used in a particular place, then you should contact your leader first. So things can be properly designated and recorded. That's right. Because anybody can say, I spent this and spent that and spent the other. Right. But when it's recorded, mm -hmm. documented, yeah. then a financial auditor comes. Compare the numbers. Make sure one part of the scale don't weigh more than the other. That's right. If money is tempting to a minister of any organization, that brother don't need to minister. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. One of the qualifications of ministry, you can't love money. Not a greedy of 50 lucre. That's right. Not greedy of 50 lucre. Well, you might as well empty practically 99.9 .9 of the churches. Hmm. Not greedy of 50 lucre. That's right. That's what the Bible says. Boy, a bishop must be blamed. Give chapter and verse. Titus chapter 1 and we're at the seventh verse. A bishop must be blamed. As the steward of God. As the steward of God. Not self-willed. Not self-willed. He can't be hard-headed. He can't be stubborn. He can't be rebellious. The Bible said if you buffer for your fault, take it patiently. Not soon angry. You can't get mad quick. Not given to wine. No boozing. <laughs> no striker. You can't strike with your hands or your mouth. Not given to filthy lucre. What? Not given to filthy lucre. That's, that's, that's the Bible. 
not given to filthy lucre. Are you following a, a religious scam? <laughs> Amen. Now let me say this to all my social media watchers. Pastor Jen has never responded to people over internet by typing, typing, or writing, or making comments. I don't do that. So if you ever have anybody on internet responding in my name, Amen. It's not me. That's right. I don't care if they attach a picture to it. That's right. I mean, my pictures are my pictures are everywhere. Yes. But I don't respond to nobody on internet. You know the comment section? I don't do that. No. I don't type in. I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> Amen. I acknowledge my computer ignorance. <laughs> Amen. I know how to look at them and read them. I can turn the computer on, I can turn it off, I can send an email, mm -hmm. I can retrieve an email because I got loads of contracts because projects around the world. Amen. That's it. That's it. I can FaceTime, that's yes. it. Yes. All this other stuff, get an app. <laughs> I have to go to my sons and go to my daughters yes. and tell them, teach thou teach me. <laughs> because me personally, I'm not interested Amen. in wanting to know it. The brothers and sisters that have been knowing me for years, when everybody got into the computer game, <laughs> they used to tell me, you're going to need a computer, Pastor Jennings. My, my children would get on me, Dad, you behind the times. <laughs> you with the Flintstones. <laughs> Learn the computer. I told him, look, I'm not interested in no computer. Dad, what about contracts? I said, all my contractors give me paper. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that backslid. <laughs> Every contractor I have yeah. in the world, <laughs> every last one, down to cutting grass. Lord. Send me email and contracts. Mm -hmm. I have to learn how to sign it electronically. When I buy churches now, uh, if I'm not there in person, they email me all the documents. Yeah. I have to choose a signature. <laughs> then press a button, there's my signature. Press a button, there's my initial. Press a button. I said to myself, well, why didn't they come up with this a long time ago? <laughs> yeah. As you grow, you learn. Oh, yes. In God, as you grow, you learn, then you apply what you learn to yourself for the betterment of self. When you get too arrogant yeah. and too high-minded -minded. that you refuse to learn, oh, yes. you will never be anything worthwhile spiritually right. or naturally. That's right. Listen. Back in Ezekiel 34 and verse 2. What is it? Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Think of it. All these hundreds of thousands of dollars come in here. I imagine if I would have bagged all of it. Mm. I remember when we ventured out to buy this place. There was a false prophet got over the air begging the people, please don't give him no money. He's going to take the money and leave the country. <laughs> he was Lord. just that afraid of the progress of the work of the Lord. My Lord. He said the Lord told him, I'm going to take the money and leave the country. Mm. You see, when you say the Lord say just so casually. So casually. Like you're talking about somebody in your neighborhood, your next door neighbor, or someone in your backyard. That's right. Who is he that saith? And it cometh to pass. And it come to pass. When the Lord commandeth it not. When the Lord command it not. It this not. Is, that's Lamentations. Lamentations 3 and verse 37. Says what? Who is he that saith? Who is he that saith? And it and cometh it, to pass. And it happens. It's fulfilled. When the Lord, when the Lord commandeth it not. Said it not. That's right. So Didn't be very it. slow about blaming something on God. Oh, yes. If it is of God, it'll come to pass. It'll come. If it's not of God, 
It's going to fall to the ground. It's going to fall to the ground. Listen to this. Back in Ezekiel 34 and verse 2. Yes. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Now think of it, brothers and sisters. Amen. Whatever church you in mm -hmm. or were in, were. think of this. That bishop at that time mm -hmm. was responsible for your soul. That's right. That's right. What was he doing with it? Yeah. yeah. Think of yourself. Oh, yes. Whatever church you was in. Whatever. That elder, that bishop, that so-called prophet or apostle, whatever he called himself. That's right. Was responsible for your soul at that time. Amen. You tell me. Was your soul going to hell or was your soul being prepared to meet God? That's right. What position yeah. was your soul in? That's right. Even with the Holy Ghost. With, that's right. What position was your soul in? Amen. Amen. That's really something to think about. Yes, it is. What condition? What condition? Did the preacher have my soul in? That's right. Was he saving it or playing with it? Yes. Was he fumbling with it or did he value it? That's right. That's right. That's right. Think. Think. If God said, all souls are mine, are mine, what is your preacher doing with your soul today? That's right. Is he saving it or playing with it? Is he saving it or damning it? Amen. The, the diseased have he not strengthened. Did you hear this? Now in Ezekiel 34 and we're at verse 4. Give chapter and verse again. Ezekiel chapter 34, now we're at verse 4. The disease have ye not strengthened? Have ye not strengthened? Neither have ye healed that which was sick. Neither have you healed that which was sick. Neither have ye bound up that which was broken. You didn't bind up what was broken. Neither have ye brought again that which was driven away. Have you didn't brought again what was driven away? Neither have ye sought that which was lost. You didn't seek that which is lost. But with force. But with force. And with cruelty. And cruelty. Have ye ruled them. Hallelujah. So being a leader. Oh, yes. Is a divine skill from God. That's right. He teaches you what a man can teach you about balance. That's right. Not too much of this, <laughs> not too much of that, oh, yes. but you the just right amount, amount of everything. That's right. That's right. You may can preach to the people. Yes. But do you know how to mingle and lead the people? That's right. Jesus taught us, yes. if you love me, that's right. You'll keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. If you love me. The soul is very important. Oh yes. You that are watching, ask yourself. Whether you're black, white, yellow, or red, you know by now I really don't care. Hmm. What stage is your soul in? That's right. The one who's handling your soul right now, Handle. today. Handle. I don't care how many thousands is in that group or how many hundreds or just five. Yes. Or one. Yeah. What is the preacher doing with your soul? But the shepherds fed themselves. Listen. Now in the book of Ezekiel chapter 34 and at verse 8. The shepherd fed themselves. They cared for themselves. And fed not my flock. They fed themselves. They did not feed the people. That's right. And when you don't feed the people, you don't care about them. That's right. That's right. When the preachers give you homiletics, yeah. theology, yeah. 
philosophy. And here's the word of God plainly stays, preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant, meaning be consistent, in season, out of season. That's right. And yet the people are more concerned with philosophy and theology. Yeah. And old wise fables. Old wise fables. <laughs> That's right. When those things become a priority yeah. and not the book. Oh, yes. Then your soul is being destroyed. That's right. Church is not a hype. No. Church is sincere God-given business. That's right. And many don't take it as serious yeah. as the one whom God sent and put the load on his back. That's right. Like the child who's given a million. Yeah. Don't take that million as serious as the father who labored for years so that child can have that million. That's right. Because when that child don't value it, you know what's going to happen? The million going to ruin them. Yes. They're going to spend it on foolish stuff. Oh, yeah. Waste it. I think of some of these athletes that done retired. Boxers. This one boxer, what is that? What is the name for he had about $50 million and went through all of it. How do you go through $50 million? <laughs> Amen. One rapper, when he was on top with his Alibaba pants. Amen. Was it Hammer? Hammer, yes it was. He was moving too. <laughs> Spent eleven thousand dollars for a water fountain. That's right. That's the epitome of stupidity. That's right. The water ain't cleaner or richer. Right. Eleven thousand dollars for a water fountain. He that troubles when his I can own. go to the kitchen and turn on the sink and drink nasty Philadelphia water. That's right. Or go to the market and get some bottled water. That's right. Hear me, world, world, hear this. Your priorities are screwed up. Oh, yes. Your priorities are backward. That's right. Everything in your life is first but God. But God. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. What you have, son? Now, now in Ezekiel 34 and at verse 8. Ezekiel at what? Ezekiel chapter 34. We'll start at verse 7. Says what? Therefore, ye shepherds. Therefore. Oh, the prophet was sent to work on them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Therefore, ye shepherds, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Hear, you pastors, mm -hmm. bishops, elders, evangelists, That's right. apostles, prophets. That's right. Whatever you call yourself. Whatever. Hear the word of the Lord. God's word. As I live, saith the Lord God. As I live, and there's no end to him. Oh, no. Oh, there's no end to him. Oh, no. Listen. As I live, saith the Lord God. As I live, saith the Lord God. Surely because my flock became a prey. Surely. Amen. My flock followers became flock a prey. Became a prey. And my flock became meat to every beast of the field. That means the shepherd became a predator. That's right. That's right. If the flock become a prey, a prey, then the shepherd become a predator. That's right. Whether a sex predator That's or a right. money predator. Amen. He's nothing more than a religious predator. That's right. What do you have before you today? Amen. That's something. If you're nothing but meat to meat. him. Meat then to him, you're not a valuable soul. That's right. This is why they can teach you any old junk any old thing. and have no conscience. That's right. Think of it. There used to be a false prophet back in the 60s, 70s, and I believe the 80s, and most old heads know him here in America, Reverend Ike. Remember him? Oh, yes. 
Oh, I Man, Joel Alstein, T.D. Snakes, they ain't got nothing on Ike. <laughs> no. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Ike had this massive old theater <laughs> in New York, and the ceilings was painted with 24 karat gold. Yeah. He had a customized gold throne for a pulpit chair. That's right. He wore a process like Little Richard. He wore his mustache thin like Little Richard. And his theme was, you can't lose with the stuff I use. That's right. He would say, there is no pie in the sky. That's right. He said, if you want money, I can give you real luck. Now, think oh, of yes. this. Oh, yes. I came from under the church of our Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. My Lord. Ike was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, mm. and his bishop was the same bishop that was overseeing Elder Johnson or Bishop Johnson at that time. Lord. Ike know about water and spirit. My Lord. But his love for money love made him Lord. turn his back on every Bible principle that God had. That's right. That's right. TD Snakes? That's right. Same thing. Same thing. Came from out of the apostolic church, mm -hmm. baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, believing in the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues, believe about living holy, but what did he decide to preach? Good feeling messages. Good feelings. Motivational speaker. That's right. Not Jesus is, not Jesus is coming. No. Not you have to stop your sinning. Not the end of all things is at hand. No. The Bible is so true. The love of money it's is the root, root or the source of all, all, evil. all evil. While some have coveted after, they have erred from the faith and have pierced, pierced them. themselves through with many sorrows. With many sorrows. Then Paul advised his son in the but gospel. Thou, o man of but God, thou, O man of God, flee these things. Did you hear this? In 1 Timothy 6 and verse 11. Thou, O man of God, flee these things. What shall we follow? And follow after righteousness. Follow what's right. Godliness. Godliness. Faith. Belief. Love. Love. Patience. Patience. Meekness. Meekness. Fight. Fight. The good fight, fight the of good faith. Fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life whereunto. Thou art also called. What did we profess? And has professed a good profession. Before who? Before many witnesses. Yeah. Go right. back to the flock. Is everybody all right? Back in Ezekiel 34 and verse 8. Yes. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey. Became a prey. And my flock became meat to every beast my of the field. My flock became meat. Meat. To every beast of the field. Because there was no shepherd. Mm. What? Because there was no shepherd. No one to protect the people. That's I'm right. I'm going to protect God's people. That's right. That's right. Right. I don't care who get offended. <laughs> I don't care who get deterred. Yeah. I don't care who be aggravated. That's right. I am going to protect God's people with God's word and don't That's care right. who don't like it. Amen. I want to encourage all the ministers Protect God's Protect. people. That's right. <laughs>